So we are going to make a block pattern crossbody bag using the old denim jeans. So welcome to my channel Nails for Sanam and if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and if you like this tutorial hit that like button so that it helps me a lot. So we are going to start with the scrape. Uh, here I have 2.5 inches by 2.5 inches. I take the maximum length of the fabric and uh, as you can see I have many squares. So I'm just going to cut the strip just like this. And it is easier to uh, make the pattern this way. So I'm just going to attach the two strips of contrasting colors together just like this with the 1 4th inch margin. So I'm going to stitch it. And I smooth out the edges with the iron so that it is uh, flat as much as possible so as you can see it has multiple stripes now I'm going to cut the squares like this you can make like a uh, you can attach more stripes that will be easier way and this is the pattern that I'm going to stitch the fabric to so just uh, sew it together just like this so you can see that you have the block pattern fabric ready and you can make it as big as you want just like this it is easier way now i'm as a liner i'm going to use a shelf liner which is a plastic base but you can use an interfacing liner i just wanted to make the bag waterproof so i'm going to cut the pattern out so this is six inches and 2.3 inches then 6 inches and 2.3 inches and um, I have the 8 inch wide but you can customize it totally depending on how big or small bag you want to make so I'm just going to cut out this uh, pattern and then I'm just going to fold it so that it can shape it like a bag Okay, so the our fabric is ready and our pattern is ready I'm just going to uh, glue this together but I want uh, the liner fabric as well so I'm just going to cut off the liner fabric and I also added the inner pocket so I'm just going to stitch all this together you can glue it or stitch it whichever you are comfortable with I also have another tutorial on a handbag which is uh, no uh, sewing machine required so it's completely like no sew tutorial so you can watch that here I'm going to add the link in the description as well so I finished uh, stitching that now I'm going to add another plain fabric to the block pattern fabric because i want the back side of the bag to be plain so i can add additional pocket So this will be the back side of the bag and I'm going to add a pocket right here. So using the glue gun I'm going to attach the fabric to the liner just like this.
now let's attach the back pocket so i have lined it with the uh, liner here and then i'm just going to uh, glue this uh, with the measurement and i wanted to make sure that the block pattern matches so i'm going to align it together and i'm just going to glue it So I have attached the back pocket and this is how it looks. It's going to be an open pocket for the keys or phone whatnot. And so our outline for the bag is ready. Now let's work on the details. So with a small piece of fabric I'm just going to fold this and stitch this along the seam here. And then I'm going to insert the D ring and then stitch it right here so I have prepared two for the handbag trap now for the sides I have two inches by six inches um, piece of liner and then the fabric I have lined it uh, inside out so that I can stitch it insert the piece of uh, liner that I have so I can create the sides also, I'm going to attach the uh, D-rings just like this. So let's turn this upside down. I mean inside out. So this is how it looks so that it has the uh, D-ring attached for the strap and this is how so now I'm going to stitch this over so our both sides are ready and I'm going to glue this to, uh, here on the sides Now I'm going to attach the inner liner and then just glue it all the sides. But before I uh, glue it, I'm going to uh, attach the magnetic clasp here so that it's concealed. Just like this. And I also added the handmade logo in the front. So I have the link in the description box. So now I'm just going to finish gluing this inner liner. Now very carefully we wanted to uh, glue this uh, sides Now on the sides, the uh, sides are a little bit higher than what I expected. So I just fold it inside and then flip the uh, D-rings up so that it's uh, measured correctly and then it aligns properly with all the sides. So our handbag is done. Now let's attach the strap. I have also added the link in the description box. Using a leather strap, it adds a lot of value to the handbag. This is the fox leather belt with the uh, adjustable strap so our handbag is ready 
and i hope you find this tutorial helpful if you like it please make sure to hit that like button and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe for simple diy and nail art and if you like to purchase this handbag i have link added into the description box thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time with another simple diy project or nail art till then bye bye